guys, welcome to your weekend reading. This is going to be for November uh, 21st through the 24th. I'm sorry that they're going out a little bit late. I just, I have a lot going on right now. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, so we're going to do a quick shuffle with you guys on camera, and then um, I'm going to go over a couple of super quick announcements, and then we're going to go over your pre-shuffle messages and get into the reading, okay? Oh, guys, one second for me, please. One moment. I am so sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's get... Let's get started. All right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Leos, please? November 21st through the 24th. Angel spirits and guides, what love messages do we have for my Leos, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Leos, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Leos, please? What clarity and guidance can we bring to my Leos, please, for November 21st through the 24th, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Leos, please? November 21st through the 24th. What love messages do we have for my Leos, please? Holy Spirit. Okay. All right, guys, just a couple of super quick announcements, and then we'll get into the pre-shuffle messages. So, um, Leo, if you're currently a subscriber, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, ooh, please be sure to do so. Okay, please be sure to do so. I didn't want those to flip, but okay. Uh, please be sure to do so. I do choose uh, multiple winners, multiple subscribers every month. Um... I give away free tarot readings, I give away uh, tarot cards and oracle cards, okay? So uh, please be sure to click that notification bell because the winners are announced on your monthly readings, so this way you get notified for when those post. I am taking personal readings, it is $10 off, your, uh, off of a 30 minute reading, $20 off of a... I'm so sorry. My, I'm, I can't speak. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me today. Um, it is $10 off of a 15-minute reading, $20 off of a 30-minute reading, uh, and that is the holiday special that is going on until January 1st. You can go to my website, www.thetaroflight.com. Now, there's been a little bit of a change. Um, I have, I'm have i no longer listing all my decks in the description box below. I have updated my website. So if you're interested in one of my decks, you can go to my website um, and view them there. There's an Amazon link in case you're interested in purchasing. The deck that we're using today is number one underneath tarot decks on my website. It is called the Grand Lux Tarot, okay? All right, guys. Um... What else did I want to tell you? Okay, so let's get into the messages I picked up on your pre-shuffle. Now, pre-shuffle messages may or may not resonate with the actual reading, okay? Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They're just messages that I pick up on the pre-shuffle. They may be uh, meant for somebody, so I just figured I'd start incorporating them uh, in my readings. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm seeing here, Leo, um, for some of you, you may be in a long distance relationship or for some of you, uh, you may be missing somebody or yearning somebody, somebody that you haven't seen or spoken to in quite some time, or maybe you could even be living with the person, but there's just like a wall up between you guys. Okay. Now, um, what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you're keeping it a secret. You're keeping how you feel a secret. The fact that you want to reach out to this person, um, you may be very undecided because you haven't spoken to this person. I, I truly feel that for a majority of you, you have not spoken to this person, okay? And you're trying to make a decision as to whether or not you want to... Um, you want to pursue this, okay? Because I feel that, you know, Leo, for a lot of you, your money is up. You're, you're, you're doing well, you're doing fine, you're independent, you're stable, you're doing okay, but there's a lot of problems with this person that you're trying to reach out to. They may have an addiction, they may have issues, mental issues, whatever it is, they have a lot of issues, okay? So you're really at a crossroads with this because you're doing fine, okay? You're, you're doing great in life and this person is a freaking mess. So you're trying to make a decision because, you know, your wish ultimately is to be happy and successful, 
okay? And you know that this person brings a lot of toxicity with them. You miss them, you want to reach out to them, but at the same time, you know that it might not be in your best interest because they tend to muddle things up in your life. So that may be a message for some of you, not all of you. Let's see what the actual reading has to say. Leo, I'm going to read you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. However way it resonates, you can apply it that way to your life. If this doesn't resonate at all, then it's simply not your message. Okay, don't force it to fit. So Leo, here we have free yourself and healing family issues. It's time to take back control of your life. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that, you know, Leo, I feel like you have freed yourself from a certain person and you're in the process of healing. And you may just be missing somebody that you've left behind or a, an ex that you've left behind, which technically is what Mercury Retrograde is all about, okay? Okay. All right, so we have here temperance. So again, we could be dealing uh, again. We could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but again, this is an indication of healing. This is an angel that comes in wanting to heal. Okay, heal misunderstandings, heal negative and harsh things that were said, um, heal a rift between two people, healing something that has died. Okay, we've got the death card here, scorpionic energy, healing something that has ended and now wanting change and transformation from that. We've got the world card here, and I feel like this is you wanting to shut the chapter with this person um, and start a new beginning. But at the same time, at the same time, um, you're missing them. With the ace of wands, you do want communication with them. Okay, and when we have the wheel of fortune here, the wheel is going to turn uh, in your favor. It's going to turn towards what you're thinking about, what you're yearning for, what you're wanting. So if you want communication with this person, this wheel is kind of going to push you towards wanting to, you know, towards, towards picking up the phone and reaching out to this person. Okay. Um, or this could also be an indication that you left someone behind, you're healing, and now you've shut that chapter out in your life and we have a new person coming in, a new lover coming in that you see as a better option. That's, that's an option too here. So we have community. Okay, we have community and we have new beginnings. Okay, yeah. So what I'm seeing here is you, you know, what I'm feeling is, you know, Leo, it may be bittersweet. It may be bittersweet that you're leaving someone behind, like you miss them, but you know it's really over. You know you just can't go back. And there may be a new lover in the mist here. There's someone around you that wants a new start with you here, okay? And those are beautiful cards. Look at the rainbows there. Look at those colors. Very healing. Um, and I love the way like the sun is coming up there like it's a whole new day guys, you know what I'm saying? So I feel that you know, you may be going out in front with your friends or getting more involved in your community and you may run into somebody Okay, while you're healing from this uh, past person But you're missing them though. I feel like you might be missing them But spirit is you know advising you to free yourself this wheel of fortune is turning you towards a new lover Why is the temperance card here, please spirit? Yeah. See, I, I'm feeling here that, you know, with the temperance card, your your emotions are a little imbalanced because you may want to reconcile. You may not have been ready for this situation to end, or you may not have wanted it to end with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Why is the death card here, please, Spirit? Yeah, but, you know, you realized or received some type of communication here that someone was cheating, that someone was taking from you, that someone was hurting you, and you just had to let it go. Sometimes we don't have a choice. You know, sometimes we could love somebody, we want to be with them, but sometimes we just don't have a choice. Why is the world card here, please, Spirit? Why is the world card here, please, Spirit? Yeah, see, we have the Wheel of Fortune again with the Page of Swords. I feel here that you're shutting one chapter, you're starting a new chapter, and somebody is watching you. I feel like someone has their eyes on you already. It could be someone, I'm getting maybe like a someone from your Facebook page, someone from your Instagram. Somebody has their eye on you, Leo, okay? Um, or you may meet someone online, and this is going to be a very fortunate and blessed union, okay? Um, but I'm also feeling from this that the message of truth that you received from here, this communication about lying, it was in your favor because you don't need to be in a situation like that. You don't need to be in a situation where someone's hurting you like that. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please, Spirit? Okay, so this new 
this new beginning, because we got the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups, um, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? But you're, you're moving towards this new person who's very caring, kind, intuitive, um, you, you see potential with this person because the Queen of Cups is my Mrs. Wifey card, a mother card. So you see potential in this person, Leo, okay? So you're moving to so, towards someone who's more caring. You're moving towards a more caring connection here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please, Spirit? Yeah. You, you feel like this new person is willing to overcome challenges with you. And um, it could be a soulmate, a twin flame that you're walking into. And this is our marriage card. This is someone that you could end up with long term, okay? This is someone that you could end up with long term. So you're leaving that, that, that toxicity behind and you're moving forward. So let's see what we have for your person. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Interesting. Okay. So the first thing I'm getting here is that, you know, this new person may see that you're going through some healing. They feel that they feel this connection. They feel that you could be the one also. And they're, they feel that it's worth waiting. It's worth waiting for you to heal from this past situation that you've been in. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of water here. So we've got the Queen of Cups again. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel here that this queen, gender doesn't matter, could be a king too, is, is really pouring love onto you, Leo, okay? This person is really bringing love into your life. And after this tower moment that you have experienced, they know that you went through a tower moment. They know that you just left a very toxic situation. They know this. They know they know your story. They know what you're going through, okay? And with this person, they feel that with the three of pentacles that you're worth investing in, that you're worth putting that time and attention into, Leo. How sweet. Yeah, we've got wonders and we've got flow. So I feel like this person is just going with the flow and they're in awe of you. I feel like this this person is just, when I see this wonders card, like it's almost like they, <sighs> enchanted is, is the word I'm getting. Like they're going with the flow because they, they feel that, you know, you have a lot of potential that you, that you, you know, enchanted is the word that I'm hearing. Like they, 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 they see wonders in you. They see a lot of potential in you. So they're going with the flow. They're going to be patient. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going to be kind. They're going to give you love, Leo, until you heal. Because they feel that you could be the one. Why is this Queen of Cups here, please, Spirit? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, so this Queen of Cups, don't get it twisted. This person is, is scared that you may reject them. This person is scared, Leo, that they're pouring their cup into something that may not work out because they feel that you may be in rebound energy. So they're, they're putting their investment in, but what they're not saying is uh, secretly that they do fear being rejected by you. They, they, they do fear that this isn't going to work out because you're in such a, a, an unsteady place. Why is the Knight of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah. This person is not going to fight for you to free yourself of the bondages. They're not, they're going to just, they're not going to fight with you. They're going to let you be free to heal the way you want to heal. Okay, Leo, um, they're going to let you be free. This is not a controlling entity, um, but they are a little worried. Okay. Why is the tower here? Please spirit. Yeah. So they may see here that because of this tower moment that, you know, you're, you're very scorned. You feel very rejected. Um, you feel very insecure. You feel very insecure and they're, you know, again, they're just going to wait on the side and wait for you to heal. Why is the six of swords here, please? Yeah. They know you're leaving a toxic situation. They know you want to move on to more peaceful waters, but I feel like this person sees that if they put work into you, that this could potentially end in a tent of pentacles situation. They see a lot of abundance in you. They see a lot of abundance in you, Leo. Why is the three of pentacles here, please? Yeah. 
So because you're so guarded here, Leo, because you you're you're really healing, this person is going to take the weight upon themselves and put the work in. They're going to do the right thing and they are going to open up their heart. So they're going to put enough love into this connection for both you and them until you heal. How sweet is that, guys? So, yeah, we've got the 3 of cups here. So the 3 of cups, um I feel it's the first thing I felt is reuniting with a past life soulmate, okay? Second thing I felt here is that it still kind of feels like a third party energy because this ex is very much a part of coming in between you guys because there's still so much pain from this ex, okay? What's crossing the situation is the King of Cups. So here we've got the Queen and King of Cups. Like I said, this is a true soul tie. This is someone, no wonder why this person thinks you could be the one or this is a very strong soul tie. But what's crossing the situation here okay, is, um, and don't forget the three of cups is also reconciliation. So this person may be worried that you may end up reconciling with this person from the past. So what's crossing the situation is the king of cups and that's mastering emotion. Okay. So maybe Leo, you're not expressing a lot of love or emotion to this newer person. So they're, do, they're putting in the love for both of you, but they're a little concerned about that. It's a red flag. Okay. Um, and they're mastering their emotion about the fear. They're mastering their fear about this connection. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel here that, you know, someone here is yearning from communication that's far away. So Leo, you are still missing this person. Um, you are still hoping that they will reach out to you and make things better and fix the situation. Okay. Um, and I feel that's also your per your new person's fear that you and your ex are going to start talking again. Um, so someone intuitively here is very confused, okay? Intuitively, and I feel that this is the new person, they feel that this is a connection that could really work, but their intuition is telling them be careful because it could be an illusion. This person could end up going back to the ex, okay? Yeah, the person could end up going back to the ex. Yeah, I feel here that, you know, with the chariot and the five of cups, I feel that, you know, your person, Leo, feels like the, the, the situation ended too quickly. It ended too impulsively and that, you know, you guys might end up coming together again because there's too much loss, regret, uh, because it ended so swiftly, because it ended so swiftly. So, Leo, this new person... Um, does want to wait for you. They have a lot to offer you, but Leo, at the same time, I still, I feel that you, you may still have a lot of, um, healing to do. Yeah. See, look, we've got under the deck, we have the seven of pentacles. You thinking about the past, wanting a new beginning because this person made you really happy and you're trying to hold on to this connection or you're trying to hold back from this connection and you're trying to walk away from it. But you know, you're making the decision here to, you know, to leave this connection out in the cold, but at the same time, you're very emotionally disconnected and anxious over it. Okay. So yeah, Leo, it's uh, this is a rough one. So I'm going to take this into the extended. I want to see if this ex is going to, if you and this ex are going to end up coming back together or if you're going to end up healing and going with this new person. Um, because you're having a really rough time here, Leo. You're, you're having a really rough time. So let's see what we have going on. Um, yeah, let's see what we have going on uh, in which direction this is going to go. So the link to the extended will be in the description box below. So guys, please don't forget to like if this resonated. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And don't forget if you're interested in any of my decks, they're all on my website. And if you'd like to book a reading, you could go to my website, which is also listed below. I'll see you guys in the extended. Take care.